Kolhapur Kolhapur.org is a historic city of Maharashtra. It is the district headquarters of Kolhapur district. Prior to Indian independence, Kolhapur was a 19-gun salute princely state ruled by the Bosail Chhatrapati Bosail Royal Clan of the Maratha Empire. History Scriptural records Kolhapur is mentioned in the Devi Gita, the final and key chapter of the Devi Bhagavata Purana, a special text of Shaktism. Kolhapur is noted as a place of Kolama worship. In the text, Devi says, O king of mountains! Still I am now telling something out of my affection to my bhaktas. Here. There is a great place of pilgrimage named Kalapura in the southern country. Here the Devi Ambabai always dwells. The famous Jyotiba temple is also located in the Kolhapur. Kolhapur is famous in West Maharashtra for religious accounts. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medieval era. The Shilahara family at Kolhapur was the latest of the three and was founded about the time of the downfall of the Rashtrakuta Empire. They ruled over southern Maharashtra, the modern districts of Sitara, Kolhapur and Belagavi. Their family deity was the goddess Ambabai, whose blessing they claimed to have secured in their copperplate grants Mahalakshmi Labda Vara Prasada. Like their relatives of the northern branch of Konkan, the Shilaharas of Kolhapur claimed to be of the lineage of the Vidyadhara Jimatavahana. They carried the banner of Golden Garuda. One of the many titles used by the Shilaharas was Tagaraporavaradisvara, supreme sovereign ruler of Tagara. The first capital of the Shilaharas was probably at Karad during the reign of Jatiga II as known from their copper plate grant of Miraj and Vikramankadavacharita of Bilhana. Hence sometimes they are referred as Shilaharas of Karad. Later, although the capital was shifted to Kolhapur, some of their grants mention Vallavada, and the hill fort of Pranalaka or Padmanala, Panhala as the places of royal residence. Even though the capital was shifted to Kolhapur, Karhad retained its significance during the Shilahara period. This branch rose to power the latter part of the Rashtrakuta rule and so, unlike the kings of the other two branches, those of this branch do not mention the genealogy of the Rashtrakutas even in their early grants. Later they acknowledged the suzerainty of the later Shalukya for some time. They had used Kannada as the official language as can seen from their inscriptions. This branch continued to hold the southern Maharashtra from circa 940 to 1220. From 940 to 1212 CE, Kolhapur was the center of power of the Shilahara dynasty. An inscription at Teradal states that the king Ganka was bitten by a snake then healed by a Jain monk. Ganka then built a temple to Lord Naminath, the 22nd Jain Tirthankara enlightened being. Jain temples in and around Kolhapur from this era are called Ganka Jinalya, after the king. Around 1055 CE, during the reign of Bhoja I Shilahara dynasty, a dynamic acharya spiritual guide named Maganandi founded a religious institute at the Rupanarayana Jain temple Basadi. Maganandi is also known as Siddhanta Chakravarti, that is, the great master of the scriptures. Kings and nobles of the Shilahara dynasty such as Gandharaditya I who succeeded Bhoja I, were disciples of Maganandi. Kolhapur was the site of intense confrontation between rulers of the Western Chalukya Empire and the rulers of the Chola Empire, Rajadiraja Chola and his younger brother Rajendra Chola II. In 1052 CE, following the Battle of Kapam, the victor, Rajendra Chola II, marched onto Kolhapur and there he erected a Jayastamba victory pillar. .Between 1109 and 1178 CE, the Kopeshwar temple to Lord Shiva was built by the Shilahara kings, Gandharaditya Chola, Vijayaditya and Bhoja II in Kedrapur, Kolhapur. Kolhapur state The state of Kolhapur was established by Tarabai in 1707 because of the succession dispute over the Maratha kingship. The Maratha throne was then governed by descendants of Tarabai. One of the prominent kings was Rajarshi Shahu Maharaj Shahu of Kolhapur. In his reign he promoted cost-free education to people of all castes and fought against untouchability. The state was annexed by the British in the 19th century. 
After India's independence in 1947, the Maharaja of Kolhapur acceded to the Dominion of India on 14 August 1947 and merged with Bombay State on 1 March 1949. Kolhapur is sometimes found spelled as Kolhapur. Often, Kolhapur is also referred as Dakshin Kashi Dakshin in Hindi means South, Kashi is a holy city in northern India due to its rich religious history. Origin of name According to the myth, Kolhapur was named after the demon Kolhasar. There are different stories behind the reason he was killed by the goddess, but it was his dying wish to name the place where he was killed after him. Thus, Kolhapur comes from the name Kolhasar and, pure which means a city. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Kolhapur is an inland city located in southwest Maharashtra state, 228 km south of Pune, 615 km northwest of Bengaluru and 530 km west of Hyderabad. Within Maharashtra, Kolhapur's nearest cities and towns are Ichakaranji 27 km, Kodoli 35 km, Peth Vadgaon 15 km, Kajal 21 km, Sangli 49 km, Satara 115 km. Kolhapur has an elevation of 569 meters, 1867 feet. It lies in the Sahayadri Mountains in the Western Ghats. Chandgat is the coolest place in the Kolhapur district. Tambraparni River Dam is the spectacular place near Umgayan village. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Climate. Kolhapur's climate is a blend of coastal and inland elements common to Maharashtra. The temperature has a relatively narrow range between 10 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. Summer in Kolhapur is comparatively cooler, but much more humid, than neighboring inland cities. Maximum temperatures rarely exceed 38 degrees Celsius and typically range between 33 and 35 degrees Celsius. Lows during this season are around 24 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius. The city receives abundant rainfall from June to September due to its proximity to the Western Ghats. The heavy rains often lead to severe flooding during these months. 2005 and 2006 were years when floods occurred. Temperatures are low in the rainy season and range between 19 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. Kolhapur experiences winter from November to February. The winter temperatures are warmer than other cities in Maharashtra such as Pune and Nashik. Lows range from 9 degrees Celsius to 16 degrees Celsius while highs are in the range of 26 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius due to its high elevation and being adjacent to the western Ghats. Humidity is low in this season making the weather much more pleasant. Hydrology The Panchaganga River originates in the western Ghats. It has five tributaries which supply the city and surrounds, the Bhogavati, Tulsi, Kumbi, Kasari and the Damani rivers. The Panchaganga is polluted with untreated domestic sewerage, industrial effluent, biomedical sewerage, agricultural chemical runoff, crematorium ash, and, religious offerings. Kolhapur has a number of lakes. The Rankala Lake was once a stone quarry. The Kalamba Lake was built in 1873. These two lakes provide the city with domestic potable water. Topic: Governance. Kolhapur is governed by the Kolhapur Municipal Corporation (KMC). The city is divided into 5 wards named with the letters A to E. The corporation provides services such as sewage treatment and free cremation for residents and has made a number of improvements, for example, the Kolhapur Road project, the anti-encroachment drive to stop unwanted building activity encroaching on the city's open space, and the Suvarna Janti Nagarathan project for improvement of roads and storm water management. However KMC faces problems like expansion of civic limits of Kolhapur city which are not increased from 1972, due to the same this city fails to avail the benefits of various government schemes. On 16 August 2017, Kolhapur Municipal and Regional Development Authority has been established. 
This authority is operating in Kolhapur city and 42 villages around Kolhapur city. This authority formed for the balanced development of Kolhapur city and the surrounding 42 villages. Demographics As per the reports of 2011 Census of India, population of Kolhapur city is 5, 49,236 and population of Kolhapur Municipal and Regional Development Authority is 9, 20,000. Hinduism is majority religion in Kolhapur city with 83.89% followers. Islam is second most popular religion in city of Kolhapur with approximately 10.88% following it. In Kolhapur city, Christianity is followed by 0.96%, Jainism by 3.35%, Sikhism by 0.11% and Buddhism by 0.11%. Around 0.04% stated other religion, approximately 0.23% stated no particular religion. Economy <inaudible> 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 Topic manufacturing industry The city particularly known for the Kulapuri Chapal, a hand-crafted buffalo leather slipper that is locally tanned using vegetable dyes. Kolapuri slippers are sold on Mahadwar Road. Other handicrafts include, hand block printing of textiles, silver, bead and paste jewelry crafting, pottery, wood carving and lacquerware, brass sheet work and oxidized silver artwork, and lace and embroidery making. Kolhapur is also an industrial city with approximately 300 foundries producing exports with a value of 15 billion rupees per year. A manufacturing plant of Kurloskar oil engines coal is set up in Five Star MIDC at Kajal near Kolhapur. Besides this Raymond Clothes plant is also located in the same industrial area. Kolhapur has two more industrial areas Wiz. Gokol Shurgan MIDC, Shiroli MIDC and Udiamnagar is an industrial area in the city. Tourism. Tourism is another source of revenue with about 3 million visitors to the city per year. Kolhapur's attractions include, New Palace, world's first statue of Babasaheb Ambedkar at Bindu Chowk, inaugurated on 7 December 1950, Rankala Lake, the Tara Rani equestrian statue which stands on two of the horse's legs and 85 feet 26 meters idol of the Lord Ganesh at the Chinmaya Mission top Sambapur. At the annual Dushara procession, the Kolhapur Maibach car of the Chhatrapatis of Kolhapur is displayed to the public. The Rankala Lake is placed to visit in Kolhapur. <laughs> <laughs> Film industry On December 1, 1917, the Maharashtra Film Company was established in Kolhapur by Babu Rao Painter. The city has become the primary center for the Marathi film industry. Kolhapur plays host to many film festivals, including the Kolhapur International Film Festival. Kolhapur has Film City which is spread over 75 acre in Morawadi and was set up in 1984 by the state government. The objective of setting up Film City was to provide infrastructural setup to the Marathi film industry and provide all facilities, from shooting to post-production, under one roof. The work of renovation and new locations of Kolhapur Film City is going on. Topic: Malls. Topic: Cuisine. Kolhapur cuisine is noted for special mutton dishes as well as Kolhapuri misal and Kolhapuri bhel. The city lends its name to food products such as Kolhapuri lavangi, chili peppers or murchi, Kolhapuri jaggery, cane juice concentrate, and Kolhapuri masala, spice mixture. Pandhara rasa, meaning white curry, is a soup-like dish made from mutton stock, spices such as cinnamon, coriander, ginger and garlic, and coconut milk. It is used as a starter and also has medicinal uses for cough and throat ailments. Kolhapur has two outlets of McDonald's, as well as a Domino's Pizza, Pizza Hut, Subway. Numerous cafes are also spread throughout the city. <laughs> <laughs> Media and telecommunication 
Kolhapur's main newspaper is the Pudari. Other Marathi language newspapers include Sakal, Maharashtra Times, Kolhapur edition, Laksata, Lakmat, Kesari, Samna, Tarun Bharat, and Punyanagari. The English language dailies include the Times of India, Kolhapur edition, the Indian Express, Business Standard, and the Economic Times. The Hindi language daily is the Lakmat Times. Kolhapur's FM radio services include Tomato FM 94.3 MHz, Radio Mirchi 98.3 MHz, Radio City 95 MHz, Big FM 92.7 MHz and All India Radio FM 102.7 MHz. Kolhapur has three multiplexes, PVR Cinemas in DYP City Mall, Parvati Multiplex and Inox at Reliance Mega Mall. The city has also held live concerts of K.K., Arijit Singh, Abdut Gupta, and Kapil Sharma. Sports A number of sports are played in Kolhapur. Wrestling and football are the most played sports in the city. Current status of wrestling in January 2013, the Indian women's football team hosted a training camp and played a demonstration game against representatives from the Netherlands in Kolhapur. There is also a tradition of wrestling in Kolhapur. Rajarshi Shahu Stadium is a football stadium in Kolhapur. Kisbag Wrestling Stadium is a national wrestling stadium in Kolhapur. Kolhapur has given many elite sports personalities to the nation like Kashaba Dadasaheb Jadav, who won a bronze medal at the 1952 Summer Olympics in Helsinki. He was one of the first athletes from India to win a medal in the Olympics. B. B. Nimblekar former Ranji cricketer, Shuhas Kamkar Mr. Asia, winner, Verdaval Khad Indian Olympian in swimming, J. Singh Rao Kusail Indian shooter, Tihaswini Sawant Indian shooter, Dadu Chogyul Rustam E. Hind, Rusha Pujari chess, woman international master and many more. Aniket Jadav who played the FIFA under 17 was from Kolhapur. Volleyball is also played widely in places like Panhala, Kajal, Murgud, and Karundwad. Transport Railway The Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj Terminus links Kolhapur via rail to India's major cities with express services to Pune, Mumbai, Bengaluru and New Delhi. A daily shuttle service connects Kolhapur with the main rail hub of Miraj on the Central Railway main line. A new railway route between Miraj and Vaibhavwadi has been confirmed, which will connect Kolhapur and many other cities to the west coast of India. <inaudible> <inaudible> Road Kolhapur is located on National Highway 4 and National Highway 204. The city has three state transport bus stands, Central Bus Stand CBS, Rankala Bus Stand and Sambhajanagar Bus Stand. Kolhapur Municipal Transport KMT provides local bus services. Central government granted 78 buses for KMT under JNNURM. The CBS of Kolhapur is the busiest bus stand in western Maharashtra with more than 50,000 commutators a day. Airport Kolhapur's domestic airport, also known as Chhatrapati Rajaram Maharaj Airport, is located 9 km miles southeast of the city at Ujjalaiwadi. There is daily flight service between Kolhapur to Bengaluru and Kolhapur to Hyderabad. The nearest international airports to Kolhapur are Pune International Airport and Goa International Airport. Education Kolhapur has educational institutions for engineering, medicine, and agriculture. Shivaji University is located in Kolhapur city. There are international schools and a pre-IAS training center. The pre-IAS training center is in Rajaram College campus. The admissions to pre-IAS center are allotted purely on merit in entrance exam. The city attracts students from all over India and Africa. Topic: 
Agriculture colleges Mahatma Phule Krishi Vidyapith – GOVT. College of Agriculture Dr. D. Y. Patil College of Agriculture Topic Engineering and Technology Colleges CSIBER Chhatrapati Shahu Institute for Business Education and Research Department of Technology, Shivaji University, Kolhapur Sanjay Godawad Institutes, Kolhapur Government Polytechnic, Kolhapur Institute of Civil and Rural Engineering, Gargati Kit College of Engineering Bharati Vidyapiths College of Engineering, Kolhapur Vivekanand College, Dr. Bapuji Salunkhe's Institute Genesis Institute of Technology Sanjeevan Knowledge Cities College of of Engineering and Technology DKTE Societies Textile and Engineering Institute, Ichakaranji Ashokrao Main Group of Institutions College of Engineering and Technology TKIET College Warana Group Bhima Institute Donajay Mahatak Group Dr. J. J. Magdam College, Jaisingpur Sharad Institute of Technology Shahaji Rajay College New Polytechnic, Unchgan D.Y. Patil College of Engineering and Technology, Kolhapur San Gajanana Maharaj Rural Polytechnic Mahagan Topic Medical Colleges Chhatrapati Shahu Maharaj Government Medical College DY Patil Medical College Tatia Saheb Core Dental College and Research Center Mary Wanless Hospital and Homeopathy Medical College Kolhapur Venutai Yashwantrao Chavan Homeopathic Medical College, Kolhapur Kadari Radekar Homeopathic College, Godinglage Yashwant Ayurvedic Medical College, Kodoli Nursing Colleges Padmashri D.Y. Patil College of Nursing, Kolhapur Yashwant College of Nursing, Kodoli Savitri by Phool College of Nursing, Kolhapur Dr. J. J. Magdam Institute of Nursing Education, Jaisingpur Pharmacy Colleges Roger Shri Shahu Chhatrapati Institute of Pharmacy Bharati Vidyapith College of Pharmacy Dr. J. J. Magdam College of Pharmacy Tatia Saheb Core College of Pharmacy KDCC Institute of Pharmacy College of Pharmacy Peth Vadgaon San Gajanan Maharaj College of Pharmacy Vasanti Devi Patil Institute of Pharmacy Kodoli Topic <laughs> Law Colleges Shahaji Law College Bharati Vidyapith New Law College Topic Polytechnic Colleges TKIET Polytechnic Warananagar DTE's Yashwantrao Chavan Polytechnic ICHALKARANJI Government Polytechnic Kolhapur Sanjay Godawit Polytechnic Kolhapur Ashokrao Main Polytechnic, Wathar Tarf Vadgaon Ashokrao Main Polytechnic, SAVE Sharud Institute of Iechnology Polytechnic, YADRAV D. Y. Patil Polytechnic Government Polytechnic, Kolhapur New Polytechnic Institute of Civil and Rural Engineering, Gargati San Gajanan Maharaj Rural Polytechnic, Mahagawan Shri Data Polytechnic College, Shural Dr. B. A. P. U. J. I. S. A. L. U. N. K. H. E. Institute of Engineering and Technology V. I. V. E. K. A. N. A. N. D. College Kolhapur Other colleges The New College, Kolhapur Rajaram College Kolhapur Gopal Krishana Gokhale College Kamla College Girls College Kolhapur Mahavir College Kolhapur DRK Commerce College College Kolhapur Shahu College Kadamvadi Kolhapur KMC College Gangavesh Kolhapur Topic Languages 
Kolhapur has distinct way with using Marathi language which can be cited to the princely rule over the population which has brought certain masculinity to the language. E.g. One will find that women too use male gender while using language. Names are shortened in a unique way to make the utterance faster. E.g. Sankara becomes Sankroba. Language here have some Kannada influence too. Some phrases are very popular with youth too e.g. Kaya bhava nada nahi karyaka kata kirara katakyavara bota jagyavara palti The Hindi and English are also spoken. See also Bonsal Maratha Maratha Empire List of Maratha dynasties and states Kolhapur Municipal Corporation Notable people from Kolhapur Further reading The Imperial Gazetteer of India. Oxford at Clarendon Press, 1909 Vol. 15. p. 380-387. Accessed at Digital South Asia Library at University of Chicago, Illinois, 7 April 2014. External links Kolhapur Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Kolhapur Municipal Corporation Kolhapur Tourism Information 1